Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Common Edit Functions in GEdit Text Editor. In this tutorial, we will learn about editing functions that we use frequently in GEdit. We will learn to cut, copy and paste content, undo and redo actions, search and replace text. We will also learn to print our document. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, gedit 3.4.1. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of any operating system. Let's open the gedit text editor. Now, open the file students.txt which we created earlier. Let us do so by clicking the icon in the toolbar with the icon labeled open. This is a shortcut icon to open an existing file. Open file dialog box appears. Select the desktop folder on the right hand side. Select the file student.txt and click open. Now let us learn how to cut, copy and paste the text. First we need to select the text that we want to cut or copy. I want to cut the first three student details from this file. To select the first three student details, click and drag the cursor across those three lines. Now the text is selected. We can use the cut icon in the toolbar. Or from the main menu, select edit and cut. Alternately, we can press Control plus X keys together to cut the text. Notice that the selected text is no longer visible in the file. Please note, however, that this text is not deleted. It is stored in a part of the computer's memory known as the clipboard. The clipboard stores content that is either cut or copied. Content is stored temporarily until it is pasted or other content is copied. Clipboard content is deleted from memory once you exit gedit. Switch back to gedit. Let us now paste this text in a new document. From the main menu, click File and New. A new document named Untitled Document 1 opens in the gedit window. Now from the main menu, select Edit and Paste. Alternately, we can press Ctrl plus V keys together to paste the text or use the paste icon in the toolbar. The text from the students.txt gets pasted into this document. Select the tab students.txt. Now let us select the remaining student details and make a copy of this. From the main menu select edit and copy. We can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C to copy the content. Notice that the copied text is still visible. This text is also stored in the clipboard. Select the tab Untitled Document 1. Place the cursor after the third line and press Enter. Now right click for the context menu and select Paste. The content is pasted in the specified location. This is a simple and effective way to cut, copy and paste content in gedit. Next we will see undo and redo options. gedit text editor allows to undo any changes that are made in a file. Basically it erases the last change done to the document. This is useful when you have made a mistake and want to undo it. The keyboard shortcut for undo is Ctrl plus Z. The opposite of undo is redo. The redo command reverses the undo action. The keyboard shortcut for redo is Shift plus Ctrl plus Z. Now switch to gedit text editor. Right click and select undo. The text that we copy and pasted is no longer visible. The copy paste action has been undone. Let's undo once again. This time press 
control and Z keys together. We can see the cursor jumps back to the end of the third line. The previous action has been undone now. Right click and select undo again. The first three lines that we pasted earlier are also no longer visible. We can also use the undo icon in the toolbar. This is how we can undo all the actions we did so far. Now, how can we get back the text again? Simple, right click and select redo. Let's redo our action one more time. This time, let's press shift, control and z. We can also use the redo icon in the toolbar. We got back the text again. And now, we can see only the student details from students.txt file is copied in our gedit window. Next, we will see the search and replace option. It is difficult to search for a particular word in a file that has 100 lines of text. Search function allows to search for one or all instances of the word in the entire document. Let us switch back to the gedit text editor. Let me open a document school.txt which I have already created earlier. The school.txt file is available in the code file link along with this tutorial. Download and use that text document. In this document, I want to search for a particular word. To do so, from the main menu, click on search, then find. Alternately, we can press Ctrl plus F keys together. Or, use the search for text icon in the toolbar. Find box opens at the top right corner of the window. In the find box, type the word school. Observe that all instances of the word school are highlighted in yellow color in the document. The first occurrence of the word school is highlighted in brown color. Now, place the cursor on the find box and right click the mouse. From the list of options that appears, click on Match Case. Only one word matches the case option, that is, capital S in the word School. Again, place the cursor on the Find box and right click the mouse. Uncheck the Match Case option. Now, from the main menu, click Search and then on Replace. Alternately, we can press Ctrl plus H keys together or use the search for and replace text icon in the toolbar. Replace dialog box appears. In the search for field, type schools and press enter. In the replace with box, type colleges. Check the match entire word only checkbox. We can see all the school words are highlighted in yellow color. Click on replace button. This will replace the first occurrence of schools with colleges. Click on replace all button to replace all the occurrences of schools with colleges. Click on close button to close the window. Gedit text editor also allows us to search as we type. Press Ctrl and F keys together to open the find box. Now, in the find box, start typing students. Notice that as we type the first letter S, the cursor highlights all the S letters in the document. Finally, the entire word students is highlighted when we finish typing. Next, we will see how to print the school.txt file. Select File from the menu bar and then on print. We can also click on the print icon in the toolbar. Print dialog box appears. If a printer is connected to your machine, it will be listed under the printer details here. The tabs and selections in this window will be as per the default configuration settings. To print your document, click on the print button at the bottom right. If the printer configurations are correct, then your document will get printed. 
This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about cut, copy and paste, undo and redo, search and replace text and print options. Here is an assignment for you. Open the school.txt file in gedit. Copy the first paragraph and paste it in a new document. Save the new document as schoolnew.txt. Type the heading as about school in the first line. Undo the changes. Note the changes in the contents of the file. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoker Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.